Hello class! How is your day going? I hope everything is going well for you. It's me again, Sir Noel, as your virtual teacher, helping you to clarify the third quarter business finance topics. The week 3 topic is all about budgets and projected financial statements. For this lesson, I will demonstrate how to prepare budgets such as sales budget, production budget, and projected income statement. To assist you in answering your modified assessment, we'll be preparing three budgets today. Sales budget, production budgets, and projected income statement. We'll be using Microsoft Excel to prepare these budgets. Are you ready? Let's start! Barati Corporation intends to sell 8,000 units in the first year, followed by a 500-unit increase in the following quarters. The company estimates that it can meet future sales demands by keeping an ending inventory of 10% of the estimated sales volume for the next quarter. Using a 200 per unit pricing as a baseline, A. Prepare the sales budget. B. Prepare the production budget. To start with, you need to input the given data in the Excel sheet. For the first quarter, 8,000 will be for the expected unit sales with a unit selling price of 200 pesos. Since there will be an expected increment of 500 units for each of the succeeding quarters, Therefore, the expected unit sales on quarter 2, quarter 3, and quarter 4 will be 8,500, 9,000, and 9,500 respectively. The unit selling price will be the same for each quarter. To compute the total sales, Multiply the expected unit sales by its price. 8,000 times 200 is equal to 1,600,000 pesos. The formula is the same for each quarter. Finally, add all the quarter sales to get the annual sales. We have... 7 million pesos. For the production budget, again, you need to input the given data in the Excel sheet. Since the expected unit sales of quarter 2 are 8,500, 10% of that will be the ending inventory of quarter 1. That is, 8,500 multiplied by 0.10. The answer is 850. To get the total required units, add expected units and desired ending inventory. 8,000 plus 850 is 8,850. The beginning finished goods unit is 10% of the current quarter's expected unit sales. 8,000 multiplied by 0.10, the answer is 800. Finally, to get the required production units, get the difference between the total required units and the beginning finished goods unit. 8,850 minus 800. The required production units for quarter 1 are 8,050. We will be using the same process for quarters 2, 3, and 4. Lastly, add all the quarters required production units to get the annual value. We have 35,200. To prepare the projected income statement, let us have this example. Barati Corporation expects 
sales to rise from 1.2 million pesos in 2021 to 2.5 million pesos in 2022. In 2022, interest costs are expected to fall to 75,000 pesos due to an upcoming loan payment. The company intends to raise its dividend payments to a total of 300,000 pesos in 2022. The income statement for year-end 2021 will follow. Required Use the percent of sales method to prepare a 2022 proforma income statement for Baratier Corporation. A simple method for developing a proforma income statement is the percent of sales method. It forecasts sales and then expresses the various income statement items as percentages of projected sales. We have the cost of goods sold divided by sales, operating expenses divided by sales, and interest expenses divided by sales. Applying these percentages to the firm's forecast sales, we can now prepare our proforma income statement. To start with, you need to input the given data in the Excel sheet. For this projected income statement, we will add two columns, one for the percentage and the other is for the year 2022 budget. We need to compute first the percentage of the cost of goods sold, operating expenses, and interest expenses. First, the cost of goods sold is divided by sales. 700,000 divide by 1.2 million. We have 58.3%. Second, the operating expenses is divided by sales. 125,000 divided by 1.2 million. We have 10.4%. Lastly, the interest expenses is divided by sales. 85,000 divided by 1.2 million. We have 7.1%. We go now to 2022 column. We will input 2.5 million in sales because the company expects sales to rise from 1.2 million in 2021 to 2.5 million in 2022. Since we now have the percentage we can compute for the following items. To calculate the cost of goods sold, 2.5 million pesos multiplied by 58.3%, we have 1458333.33. To get the gross profit, sales revenue minus the cost of goods sold, the gross profit is now 1,041,666.67 To calculate the operating expenses, 2.5 million pesos multiplied by 10.4%, we have 260,416 pesos and 67 cents. To get the operating profits, gross profit minus operating expenses. The operating profits is 781,250 pesos. Since interest costs are expected to fall to 75,000 pesos, we will input 75,000 pesos for interest expenses. To get the net profit before tax, operating profits minus interest expenses. The net profit before tax is 706,250 pesos. Taxes are 40% of the net profit before tax. 706,250 multiplied by 0.40. The taxes are 282,500 pesos. 
to get the net profit after tax, net profit before tax, minus taxes. The net profit after tax is 423,750 pesos. Since the company intends to raise its dividend payments to a total of 300,000 pesos in 2022, we will input 300,000 for cash dividends. Finally, to compute the total retained earnings, net profit after tax minus cash dividends. The total retained earnings will be 123,750 pesos. I hope this video has helped you analyze and answer your modified assessment. Happy learning!